G'day, welcome back for session 16 of uh, my Oxygen Not Included first game. Alright, so um, I, there wasn't too many questions I think I had on my previous one. I think the big one was just uh, how do I move ice? Uh, and then I think it's just comments just saying basically they just put a storage container uh, up here that I can just put the ice in and if it, if it melts, it just melts into the water. Uh, which is definitely a solid suggestion. Okay. Uh, the other one of note was that it is worth having as many sinks as I have toilets. So what we will do is um, we will extend this out. So if we have two there, one, two, three, four, gap, door. All right. So let's get to work. So what we'll do is. Um, Although part of it, this I think is actually that it's um it's the right size to um, cancel that. I'll just cancel that as well because I'll just say buildings. I'm pretty sure there's wire behind that that block right there. Okay, so we've still got this water pumping away up here, I'm losing more water. All over the place down here. That's all of that. If it's all of that is the germ free stuff, and then this is the germy water, is that right? Yeah. Okay, we're, just per we're just permanently spending our time cleaning up water at this stage. Uh, how can I see what's in here? Alright, so let's... Um... Find a storage bin. down here too, so I guess we should just... Though I don't know if it... Uh... I mean, potentially what I could actually do here is just, just dig a hole. Let's try and get it to fall down in here. Maybe that'll be the way to go. Although this is outside the... Um... Uh, this is inside the airlocked area and that's outside it, so... Maybe not. It's allowing us to, to claim lots of water about. Is there more coming? Really something. <laughs> it's so much of it. As fast as we can clean it up, the more of it comes. Okay, liquid fireball, ice, and we'll set that to 9, so that would mean that if we have any ice, its priority is that it goes in there, is my understanding, and that's what we're seeing here, they're delivering ice in there, and apparently I had a fair bit of ice, so certainly worthwhile getting that moved. Looks like at least May. A little bit of hypothermia there. Hopefully that's that's going to solve this uh, leaking issue that we've been seeing this whole time. All right. Now the next thing I think I need to revisit um, is the oxygen suits. Stores oxygen masks and refuels them with oxygen. Build next to an oxygen mask checkpoint to make the duplicates put on a mask when passing by. Hmm. 
We'll leave this as is for now. I suppose what we could do is I could rip that up and then sink in its place. And then consider putting toilets in another section. So we have two sets of toilets. Um, okay, definitely our water down here is looking a lot more hardy. Good to see all the ice getting delivered here. I, I did not realize I had so much ice, so definitely nice to see it all on the move. I'm surprised at how long this all takes to pump. I guess it makes it feel like it's a lot more water than I was uh, giving it credit for being. Okay, so I'm going to build one. Now, it, it probably was pointed out to me, I think, in one, that the oxygen mask dock... I, I was going to look at it as building one mask dock and then next to a checkpoint, but I think someone did point out that um, if... Uh, that's only going to cater to one person. If you open that door and then close it, stinky. Be grief. All he's doing it is just not showing his animation. I'm not sure what's going on there. I can't believe how much ice I have. It's honestly surprising me. Okay. No gas intake. So if we go to plumbing, it's not that. Power, no power, just gas. Begins to immediately deliver and dock the nearest unequipped suit. So, we're going to have this built. We're going to try and work this out, just so I guess going sort of backwards from. Uh, I can remember where I made it from. Stations. Those oxygen masks and refuel them with oxygen. Now, I assume that means I have to make an oxygen mask or something, right? Oh, actually, is there possibly something I can read about here with this? Of course, oxygen masks. No more on that. Doc exosuit. Which is currently charged. Not quite sure what that means. Alright, let's um try and figure this out. No gas intake oxygen. So, even that then means I need it's like some ventilation uh, gas pipe. All right. So I would need, I guess, if I put like a, what a gas pump central to my um, central to my build, and had that running over here. Inputs and outputs of vent buildings. There's gas between outputs and intakes. So I assume that we. So if we have a look at, say, the um, the oxygen overlay, we could say that probably the best gas go you know, probably here because we know that there's there's a ventilator right next to it so it could pull in some some at least so let's uh let's get experimenting so if we say gas pipe from here down
down. We can just join the others here. Stop it there. We'll put a gas pump again. Gas pump there. Uh, no, gas pipe there. Actually, we're going to need a um. I should dig that out. Okay. Let's just cancel this for a second. So I was wondering about this. So she's... I didn't actually cancel anything there. Good. I'm going to cancel out all these gas pipes. And what I'm going to do is cancel or deconstruct that door and that door. And then we're going to dig out this. We may as well just have that on the same sort of layer as everything else around it. And does also make it a four, four high roof, uh, which seems, seems to be the ideal build. And also means that we can build an actual floor for this. Actually, probably what we could also do is deconstruct two of them. Because um, it seems like what we want to do is extend this out a bit further. Now, I wonder how I should approach this. If I, if I need, if I should be putting up a dock for everyone, or if I should sort of be like, all right, at maximum, I want four people wandering through here. We assume four, so we say one, two, three, four. Rule saying you can't go any further. Thing door here. Okay. So here, those two. Now we can dig that out as well. We also, I think, just for security, because that is sand along there. We'll actually give this a. workable thing and that is it's it's sandstone not sand I think so it shouldn't be terrifying uh, prospect but um... oh no and it's gonna go down here oh, that's awful uh, let's cancel that then Even if we just have the airlock up in place. <laughs> At least this, this water here is going the right way. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to stop mopping up liquid. And the good news is at least the, the liquid that's going this way is, is just going into where this pump is. And uh, yeah, I think I'll concede. And let's uh, cancel one of those. I actually want it. All right. What we want to do is we will cancel these mop orders and those mop orders. And what we will do is we will dig a ladder through there. And then just a hole out there. And yes, this may as soon as we can get that door built, the better. Go and work it overtime down here. Saving as much water as they can. <laughs> I 
I mean, I told them to do that, but I know they're going to blame Stinky. Sorry, Ellie. There's water everywhere. Let's mop up all that liquid too. There's a little bit of germs in those. There we go. It's starting to move that way at least. So I suppose what I would build another row underneath here and then build in there and then knock this out once, once that's made, I guess. Or good water. Funny thing is I do want them to take care of this, but I don't want them to go through that manual airlock, so I hope that when they do address this they come up through this way. Because if they open that, they're gonna we're gonna let more water rush down here. Yeah, just like that. It's alright, Ellie. This must be a surprise when they have to dig something out and they just suddenly get flooded. Let's give these some priority nines again, because I think that really where we need to get it mopped up from. What we might actually do is we will build the tiles for that section, and I will build just across there for now. I've realised that that's still too deep, so that's that's fine to do that with. Doing great work here, guys. how often they are. Um, I'm, I'm glad that hypothermia lasts such a short period of time because otherwise these guys would all have hypothermia and be really miserable. Speaking of, I can see the stress has gone down here so Travaldo is getting happier again. Or is he going up? He's our, uh, he's our most stressed Ellie. It's probably because she's got hypothermia. Alright Ellie, we'll uh Get you back to the land of the living. I was actually thinking today about how they are... They're not overly stressed. Uh, they operate at 0% stress and I thought, well that's, that's a very admirable thing that they do. We've got to admire that. How easily anything can stress you in a day-to-day -day life, let alone while you're... While you're on a... a distant planet and have limited supplies of everything. I mean, I can think about how a dolphin has to breathe out of the water, but then spends its life in the water, so it spends its entire life in a place it can't breathe. And that gives me anxiety. <laughs> so, uh, kudos to these guys. 
All right, that's an easy connection at least. Now, I wonder if there's anything more to that that I have to do. Again, this is just a, a little test of, of how this functions. Missing tile. Right, because it's hovering up in the ground. All right, let's deconstruct that. Let's uh, get our manual airlock going here. We, we will leave this um, this open here. We'll eventually just block it off um, up here, or even potentially here once um once we've got this water sorted out. As long as we can have it running down and dripping in, we may as well. Take it up. Now this should be an, a little exciting milestone for us uh, when we wake up in the morning. Chris Medicine. Lower decor values, that's good. I mean that's, both of those sound pretty good too. Let's turn to join the fray. Yeah, go on then. Now, we're going to pause for a second because Turner is a very bland looking guy. So, I want to give you a hat, Turner. So, we're going to give you some... Uh... There you go. You can wear that hat. Okay, now, I realize that when I've built Turner and, um, and I think May as well, is I didn't actually increase the amount of food that I have, so that's probably something I want to address as well. So what we do is we'll use this room here uh, for our second bedroom. There we go. Uh, pause that for a second and, and click on our achievement and... Here we go, we've made it to 100 days. Uh, very exciting. Thank you to those that have, that have offered suggestions. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't have made it without you. few little construction ladders in the middle here. Right, let me get to these roof spots. slowly slurping up the water still coming to him. Pipe blocked. Okay. Right, so there's nothing. That's my one little weird gas pipe. We'll deconstruct that. And we will... Um, see if I can find our masks again. through the floor. Uh, we will deconstruct, we'll move gas pipes. That one there. Definitely moved quick on this room. I, when they want to do something, they definitely do it. Now the temperature here at the back of this area could get too hot possibly for this to, to deal with, but I guess I can build just like insulation around it. Allow that room to, to expand back. So, 
Let's, um... Dig up. We have that fall down to it. Imagine when we, we dig this. that in place too. Dig out the roof of um, Stinky's room to give him a bit more comfort. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is I think I want to do, I did like quite like the hanging pots in here. Um... Now, I realize that potentially they could cause problems for anyone that doesn't like plants, but... I do need to get some blank canvases and things in as well, I think, to, to start trying to inspire, um... May to do some art. She could possibly help the rest of the population. Uh, a little bit of happiness, a little bit more. This, uh, this plant. It's funny that this guy's still powering away. It almost is like an unending supply of water here that's. There's some ice up there. Running down this. That whole thing's ice, is it? Interesting. I mean, if that whole thing is going to be ice and this is going to be going for a while, um, I might build a an airlock here. Leaf. It's quite nice in those. We do have more of the briar seeds. And the next thing is we can going there. Good job so far. These guys have finished all their research, so let's find the next thing. It's only one, but may as well work from the top. I imagine these ones that are all the way down there I'm not going to be looking at anytime soon, whereas possibly these, um, these things could end up being more useful sooner. Okay, what we'll do is we will put four cots in there, it's more than what we need, but might as well be prepared for the future. his room a little bit bigger. Now have a look at our skills and I'm just curious about May. Now I can have her do that and she's still going to be within her happiness. Step 
Oh yeah, I'm, uh, here's a questionable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Temperature matter, positive decor, negative decor. There. Uh, and I'll put a landscape canvas next to it. Just curious to see if 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 I have to make an order or something for her to build them or what will happen. It does seem like there's a lot of ice up here that I wonder if I should knock out that granite. Where if I just knock out the ice? Oxygen mask, right. So let's go to research. Let's write. Oh, actually, it's probably the right mask. Which one am I looking at here? Crafting station. Okay. Do I still have a crafting station or do I get rid of it? There it is. No, I assume I don't have aluminum. I've got probably got copper more than anything. So let's put in an order for... How many people do I have down? Eight? Now we have a lot of mealwood seeds. out of that room. also do is probably those these guys don't seem to care too much about their um uh, about the base they have we might just dig this out uh, and put them in a nice little spot underneath the other room He's waking up. Oh, this dude's in there. So they keep hovering, I guess, between manageable heat and unmanageable heat. Which is it just that's too cold? Too. Maybe we'll uproot him, and we'll put a, um, one of the other guys that can handle a bit more warmth in there. We also want to get that guy out of that room if we can. Nice. Who did that one? <laughs> I mean, I don't know who was willing to stand next to, um, I guess May making a statue and, uh, and pull that one out. But, oh, more power to them. I'm not going to remove this completely. The, the intention will now be that um, 
once this water supply gets a bit lower, I'll uproot that and then I'll dig this way over to this water and then use his electricity and, and um, wires to pump all this in the same way. We've got a lot of ice over here. Um, I mean, it definitely makes a good argument for just leaving this as is for, for a while, because anytime that more stuff goes down there, it'll just pump, pump it up. Um, I'll probably just disable him for now, just so that um, he's not constantly running and it's a little bit less strain on our power system a lot of I can see here that we're also almost out of um, storage space too so we might just make a bit more storage we will get our new meal would eat meal yeah, meal wood in. And in that one, we don't have any mirth seeds. They both say moderately increases. I do hope that I can say, uh, decorating. That's something I can tell my May that she should be definitely well on top of. I should maybe Travaldo did the other one, so let's. Take that off his plate. Um, let's do a little bit more, see what else they can uh Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it'd be more satisfying to let this ice roll downhill long enough for this to actually be sort of full again to, um, before I worry about turning back on that uh, that liquid pump alright well let's say when we uh, wake up in the morning we'll call it a day on this one we did make some uh progress here hopefully yeah we moving the ice we shouldn't see any more leaks running through the uh, the main parts of our let's take that uh moving through our our base anymore which is always certainly ideal as always, thanks for watching. I'm not sure if I've got too many questions uh, on this one. Obviously, the other thing I need to focus on is... Did my mask get made? I don't remember to check. Can I get them delivered? Let's hit deliver. And, uh, and we'll find out in the morning. So, uh, thanks for watching. And until next time... Sun is puffy pink. He's puffy green cloud. Gotcha. See ya.